Hello, grade six, how are you? Today we will start with grammar unit eight. It's about the present perfect continuous. It's about present perfect continuous. What's the meaning of present perfect continuous? Present perfect continuous is used to show that action started in the past and has continued up to the present. We called unfinished action, Un unfinished action. It's consists from has and have plus pen plus verb ing. We use has with a singular pronoun and we use have with a plural pronoun. So she, he, it with has and I, they, we and you, uh, I, they, we and you with have plus pen plus verb ing. Let's read these examples together. I have been driving since 2013. Until now, it started in the past and continued to the present. Here, Mary has been practicing English. They have been waiting here for two hours. She has been working at that school for three years. She's still working, okay? So, present perfect continuous, it's an action started in the past and continued up to the present. The negative form in this grammar, we are going to put not after has and after have to make the sentence negative. Here we have some example, let's read them together. Sarah, has not been teaching at this or at the university since June. I have been practicing, I haven't been practicing English for a long time. He hasn't been playing football for three years. They haven't been longing for going, sorry. They haven't been going to school for one year, for one year. And the question form, we will start by has and have, then we will put the pronoun according to has and have, has for singular and have for plural, plus when plus verb ing. Here we have examples. Have you only been watching here for one? Has Nancy been taking care medicine for the last three days? Have you been teaching this class? So that all things about present perfect continuous. Here we have three keywords for this grammar. We have for, since, all day, and how long. For, since, all day, and how long. Now, your teacher, we have a big difference between for and since. For and since. For in Arabic, and since, we use for, for a period of time, okay, for period of time. And we use since give the start of period. Gives the starting point of the action. Let's read this example to know what is the difference between them. I have been waiting, waiting since seven o'clock. They have been here, uh, been working for 10 years. They have been working since 2009. So we put since. They, she has been studying since Monday. She has been, cook, been cooking for three hours. Three hours. So we use this word with for and this word with sense here for five years, for seven months, for three weeks, for a night, for eight days, for two hours, for a couple of days, for 10 seconds. And we use sense with yesterday, they mentioned for a sense this morning, since this afternoon, since Monday, since five o'clock, since he was in school, since I met her. Now here we have some example. We have already answered it on, online together. Let's read it. News for and since. I have been wa waiting space for o'clock. So we put since. 
they have been learning different six years لمدة ست سنوات بس أنا ما بعرف هو متى بلش يتعلم French so we put four we have been living here for two months لمدة شهرين بس من أي شهر we don't know Mary has been saving her money many years عم بتجمع مصاري منذ عدة سنوات بس من أي سنة we don't know so we put four Ali look at the sentence the same but the date or the time is different Ali has been saving his money since 2006. So we put cents. They living here in Jordan. They have living. They have been here. They have been living in Jordan since June. Since June. محدد الاكشن منذ شهر ستة. Since June. Here we go. I missed the word pen. Yes. Sally. Sally has been studying for a long time. When the work is over, I don't know when the work starts. So we put four. The last one, Ahmed has been playing the piano since yesterday. We already the time yesterday. It's very easy. If you have any question, ask me. Yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you for.